my best friends, one of my best friends stabbed me in the back. He hurt me. He, he, he hurt me a thousand times over. 40. But I think the final nail in the coffin was when he insulted my proud name. The, the point... I've had enough of it, actually. And I had enough of it because this is a past story. I decided I wanted my revenge. But a wrong is not made right in that manner. A wrong is only made right if he knew what he is paying for. But obviously I'd need a plan that out. He'd need to know that he is suffering. And nothing was going to get in the way of that revenge. So I decided I needed a plan. Hence my plan. You know, he was my friend. At times, he could be actually funny. And at other times, he was deranged. And a, man, he, he dressed like a buffoon, by the way. Uh, and, I, uh, and there was uh, those last few times where he made me Want to put him in a cask, barricade him, leave him, and hope he dies. Because that is the only way my brain knows how to kill someone. Nope, there's no other way. That's the only way my, my brain can consume logic. Not a single other way. But, I was the bigger man. I had a plan. You see, the thing is, he was tough. Really, like, he was tough. Which is odd, because... For a time, he looked like the kid from the Goonies. But that's not the point. I one time saw him take down Connor Fisher in one punch. Or was it Connor McGregor? Okay, well, he definitely beat the crap out of Aiden Hayes. Because that guy's a complete moron. Complete moron. Even Kozel knows it. Um, I have a couple theories on this. If I had to guess, Aiden Hayes is my theory on who's making them disappear. They're investigating some guy named Montressor, but nah, I was thinking about it. It's definitely Aiden Hayes. The point is, he had one weakness. Weed. He loved weed. He wasn't that tough when he was high, though. Whoa. Oh, hey, sub answer, Bento. Uh, oh, uh. Ah, uh, well, I've been getting into weed, and you know, you, yeah. Salmon, cannabis. Wait, wait, wait. Have you been talking to Miles? Yeah. Miles is a piece of shit. Oh, 
piece of crap. You want to know anything about weed even if he's soda, which he does. So have I been getting the wrong thing? No. Uh, uh, let me see. What do you got? Well, it's sort of in my parents' basement, so they don't find anything. Okay, all right. Uh, let's uh, let's go see. Let's go see what you have. Something's off. Untucked shirt, low posture. Pupils are kind of dilated. Well, we should uh, go see what, what, what you what you have. Yeah, sure. Why not? All right. Let's go. Let's go. And then a sudden shift in mood. He's definitely high. Anyways, the lights are broken downstairs, so we're gonna have to use this uh, flashlight. So, all right, let's go. Here you go. Yeah, uh, don't worry about it. Hey, hey, it's this way. Hey, if you could drink to anything, what would you? I'd drink to uh, all the dead that lie around us. Oh, yeah, cosplay and all. Yeah, yeah. I drink to your everlasting long life. Right, um, so where is the stuff? Oh, right, right, right there, right there. Oh. Seriously? You call these you call these weed cigarettes? <laughs> I think you should leave. You go home and I'll go upstairs and nap. It's been a long day. No? Well, I guess I'll just leave you. <laughs> that's a that's a very good joke. Was a good joke, but um, I think uh, I should get home now because you know my parents they could be worried about me. <laughs> it was a great joke though. <laughs> the joke's on you. She was here. Oh, for the love of God, Christ, Kozel! Yeah, for the love of God. Forty. Or hey. And it was at this moment he knew he screwed up. I'm just joking. Of course he screwed up. And so did I. 
I thought, no, this isn't right. Something's not right. And um, my heart grew sick. It had to have been the cold. It had to have been. There, there, it couldn't have been anything else. No human hand has touched him for over half a century. May he rest in peace. Are you telling me that you killed my son? Exactly. I killed your son. That's exactly the point. That's why you're here. I came here to tell you that. I confessed my, my, I told you that. I told you that. Good. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, I think I might well, actually you know, have some uh, sort of sick, what the hell? like, thrill out of doing it. Okay, there's no need to be, don't do it. Don't be like that. Don't, don't, no, no, no. Cut that crap. Cut, no. No, no, I think I have this sick thrill of killing people in casks and barricading them there. And I'm thinking I might put you in there. So. What a bunch of freaking morons.